Hi there, in this quick tip today, I just want to show you Microsoft Edge and the inking tools that are available in here, which is something new and is something that isn't available in other browsers. So here I am, I'm in Microsoft Edge. I've imported all of my bookmarks. Uh, another thing that I want to show you here is, of course, in this one, is the inking tools. So right at the top here, it's called Make a Web Note. So if I select that, I get a number of tools here along the top that I can use to, to start with. Uh, right on the browser. So if I select this one here, uh, select my color. So what it enables you to do is draw a note on top of anything that I've got sitting here on my browser. So I can draw on top of there, I can highlight something, I can erase something uh, that I don't want. So I could clear everything on there. I've got some different uh, color options uh, for my pen. So any website I can draw over the top of on the fly. So I've got a website sitting in front of me, I can draw over the top of it. Uh, so to help students become better thinkers, I could play a video. I could pause a video, just quickly hit the web note, and then I can just make some annotations over the top of that. When I'm done, I can save those annotations just by clicking on the little uh, save icon here, and I can send those straight off to OneNote. I can uh, might have a quick notes section, or I can choose a particular part, uh, a particular OneNote that I want to send this to, and then I can save it, and that will send that little clip off to uh, OneNote with my annotations on it. So here's that page sitting there in OneNote uh, of that of that one that I've just recently done. So you know I can continue to ink over the to use the ink tools up here uh, additionally in OneNote if I wanted to also but it's brought that into OneNote. Another thing you can do with the web notes is you can write a little comment on there. So you can write a comment on different uh, sections, comment two, and they can be saved as well. Or you could just cut little sections out. So I just want to have a look at that bit right there. That copies that and puts that on my, um, I'll just paste that in here in OneNote. Actually, I'll start a new page. That then puts that on my, uh, clipboard and I can paste that into an email or something like that. So, and again, I can use the inking tools right here in OneNote, especially this really flash one. Uh, so yeah, it gives you some, some neat options there about what you can do using these inking tools just sitting here at the top in Microsoft Edge. While I'm talking about inking, I thought I might as well show you some of the other great tools that you can get uh, using Windows and with the inking stylus. So if you just go down the bottom, it says Microsoft Ink Workspace and it shows you some other options you get. So some people might use these all the time. So I can just create a sticky note and write directly on that, okay? Um, that could be a green sticky note if you like. And I can move that all around my screen. Okay, I'll get rid of that one. So I can have a sticky note just sitting there kind of on top of everything. Uh, some of the other options on the inking space is the sketchpad. If you've never used the sketchpad, check it out. It's pretty amazing um, just how nicely this works. Uh, so you can uh, copy, uh, start a new sketch here. Yeah, so sketchpad just gives you some beautiful um, textures and uh, abilities to, to use the stylus to, um, yeah, to just to get sketching. Um, you got your ruler thing, you rule the thing there, you can move this all around. Um, and then again, you can share this, um, save it, send it off to OneNote, um, and it gives you just a nice little area that you can create sketches. The other one on here is Screen Sketch. So it takes a picture of what exactly is on the screen and you can annotate over the top of that Screen Sketch. So it can get out of there. So if I go and I'm looking at the sector page again, if I go down here, oops, go to screen sketch, just takes a picture of your, um, whatever the, is on the desktop at the time. And now I can annotate over the top of that and do similar things that I showed you before. If you've never seen fresh paint before, you should really check it out. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I'm just going to start a fresh canvas here. Uh, choose my brush and start painting with this brush here. Um, the effects are just amazing and just how lifelike 
the effects are of painting with this paint. You can see if I go over this old one here, we get this mixing. So the mixing between this green and this blue here is incredibly realistic. Um, I can choose uh, pencil options. It has lots of different options, pens, crayons, uh, all kinds of things there. So, um, and, and you just get so many different options. It's amazing. Um, so at the moment, the, the paint is wet. So if I continue to draw over that, they, they will run together. Or if I hit the fan at the bottom there, everything is now uh, dry. So um, you just get some amazing options here in Fresh Paint. If you've never, you know, if you want to do some sketching, uh, check out uh, Fresh Paint. It, it's, it's amazing. And again, you can really easily print off, save your uh, Fresh Paint creation as an image. Uh, so that's another one that you can check out. And using your stylus on the surface, amazing.